NFL power rankings. Let's get into it. It's week 14, four weeks to go, and here we go. Tier 11, absolute disaster. These three teams, it's been an absolute disaster of a season. The Panthers, why is it a disaster? Bryce Young, you don't, you're not sure if he can play. Looks right now like he can't. The Cardinals, Kyler Murray, he's been fine, not great. And your team's 3-10. and 10. And the Patriots, Mac Jones is terrible. And the report today is that they're going to move off of Bill Belichick. So yeah, absolute disaster for all three of these teams. And what's even worse, none of them are going to get Caleb Williams. I think the Patriots probably are the front runners to draft Drake May. But Drake May's no sure bet. Caleb's the only sure bet in this draft, and he's going to go to the Bears. Next tier. Tier 10, do you have the coach or quarterback? The Commanders, number 29. Do they have the coach? I don't think they do. I think Ron Rivera's time is up. Sam Howell, is he the right quarterback? Probably not. Number 28, the Jets. Do they have the coach, Robert Sala? We've never seen Robert Sala with a good quarterback, so it's hard to judge him off of that. Do they have the quarterback? It's not Zach Wilson. Is it Aaron Rodgers next season? Probably. Is he going to be good? Who knows? How about after Aaron Rodgers? I don't know. They don't know. Number 27, the Falcons. But Levi, the Falcons are 6-7. and seven. I know. I know. I still don't trust them at all. I do not trust the Atlanta Falcons at all. I think they could lose out. I think they will lose out. Desmond Ritter, is he the quarterback? Probably not. Is Arthur Smith the coach? Probably not. Never had a winning record. Number 26, the... Raiders, they drop into this tier. They were in the tier uh, uh, above, but you score zero points in a game and lose 3 nothing. yeah, you're going to drop a tier. Raiders, 26. Do they have the coach? No, they just fired him. Do they have the quarterback? No, they just benched him. Is Aiden O'Connell going to be their quarterback going forward? Probably not. Number 25, the Buccaneers. Baker might be the quarterback. Todd Bowles, is he the coach? I don't know. Probably not. Again, they're 6-7. and seven. They have a chance to win the division, and I don't. And I think they're barely a top 25 team in the league. They're leading their division right now. That's how bad the NFC South is. And finally, number 24, the Chargers. They drop into this tier as well. What is going on with the Chargers? Well, Justin Herbert out for the season. Obviously, they do have the quarterback, but I don't think they have the coach. Brandon Staley should be fired already. I'm surprised they haven't fired him yet. Next tier. Tier 9, late season life. These three teams have life late in the season. Who is it? Number 23, the Chicago Bears. They climb up a tier. A couple weeks ago, the Bears were in the lowest tier. They began the season as my number 32 ranked team. Chicago, good for them. They're now 5-8. and eight. They're on a bit of a roll. Justin Fields playing well. We know Justin Fields, Matty Fus. they are playing for their careers. And they are both doing well. So 5-8, and eight, the Bears have life. They're only a game out of the wild card. Also a game out of the wild card, the New York Giants. Number 22, congratulations to the Giants. You have also moved out of the uh, the top, out of the bottom couple of tiers. By the way, the Bears have never been in the top 25 yet this season, so congrats to them for that. The Giants, they started the season at 21. They fell as low as 31. Now they're back up to 22. Tommy DeVito, three-game winning streak. They're only a game back to the wild card, and finally... The Titans, they're not going to make the playoffs, but Will Levis is showing signs of life. He's playing well. He just beat the Dolphins, so they are now number 21, just outside of the top 20. Here we go, Tier 8. So you're saying there's a chance. These two teams, both NFC teams, both played solid games on one side of the ball and terrible games on the other side. The Rams, they drop in a tier. They're number 20. They still have a chance at the playoffs, 6 and 7. They are tied for the last wild card spot. They had a really good offensive performance, but unfortunately their defense forgot to show up. They lost 37-31 in overtime to a really good Ravens team. Number 19, the 7-6 Minnesota Vikings. What's going on with the Vikings here? Well, the Vikings, their defense showed up, held the Raiders to zero points. How about their offense? Josh Dobbs benched three points total. Nick Mullins now the quarterback. They are 7-6, but they drop a tier despite the win because I don't think this team will make the playoffs. I don't think either of them will, but... There's a chance they're both currently tied for the last wildcard spot. Next up, Tier 7. Too crowded in the AFC. These four teams, it's just too crowded in the AFC. I wish these four teams could make the playoffs, but I don't think any of them will. We have number 18, the Colts. 
Gardner Minshew playing well, but not well enough to be a playoff quarterback. Unfortunately, they're seven and six. I think they're finished nine and I think all four of these teams are gonna finish nine and eight, and all four of them are gonna end up one game out of the playoffs when it's all said and done. The Bills, number 17. Look, you just beat the Chiefs. You should be ecstatic, but uh uh oh, you already have the, the tiebreaker lost to the Bengals. They also lost a couple of other tie-breaking games earlier on in the season. They lost to the Jets. You're probably going to lose to the Cowboys next week or and or the Chargers after that. It's just not looking good for the Bills. I know you really want to make the playoffs, Buffalo. I know you think Josh Allen can win the Super Bowl. I don't think it can happen right now, not this year. It's just too crowded for you. The Bengals, Jake Browning playing um, really well. The Bengals do have wins over the Colts and Bills. That's why they are ahead of the Colts and Bills. But just right now, seven and six, not going to cut it. And the Steelers, the Steelers were seven and four. They look like a playoff lock, but Kenny Pickett goes down. Mitch Trubisky cannot pick up the pace. Trubisky, not a good quarterback. The Steelers have resorted back to mediocrity. They're now seven and six. They dropped two tiers this week from five to seven. They're now back to 15th, which is where they were a couple of weeks ago. Next tier, tier six, first round blowout. Yeah, the Seahawks and the Saints. You guys are both getting blown out in the first round of the playoffs. Seahawks move up into Tier 6 despite the loss. I thought after evaluating all of the teams in the NFC wildcard race, I think Seattle's going to get it. I think they're going to win three of their last four and sneak in with a 9-8 and eight record. I really do. And the Saints, I think they're going to win the South. I, they played really well against the Panthers. I think they will Essentially, the, the South is going to be decided by two games, Saints-Falcons and Saints-Bucks. I think they will win both of those games, and the Saints, with eight or nine wins, will win that division. And then they're both going to get blown out. Seattle's going to get blown out by San Francisco. The Saints are going to get blown out by the uh, the Cowboys, and they're both going to give you first-round blowout losses, but at least they made it. Next up, Tier 5. They might just be the 2,000 Ravens, the Cleveland Browns. I said earlier in the season, the only way this team wins the Super Bowl is if they can be the 2000 Ravens, uh, the, the team that Trent Dilfer, a backup quarterback who never really was any good in his entire career, led them to the Super Bowl. And I believe they did win that Super Bowl with Trent Dilfer at quarterback. Well, the Ra the Browns this year, same strategy as the Ravens in 2000. Amazing defense. They're the toughest team in the league, but they don't have a good, they don't have a starting quarterback. Deshaun's out. PJ Walker out. Out of nowhere, Joe Flacco, a guy who hasn't been a starter in a long time, he comes into town and all of a sudden he's playing really good football. And maybe the analogy shouldn't be the 2000 Ravens. Maybe the analogy should be the 2011 Ravens, the team that Joe Flacco took to the Super Bowl and won the Super Bowl. He's done it before. Could he do it again? It would be a crazy, crazy story if he did. They're at number 12. Next up, Tier 4, the kids will be all right. Okay, what is this four teams doing in here? The kids will be all right. All four of these teams lost this week. All four of them lost kind of in a bad way because three of them lost to teams that are way worse. All four of them actually lost to teams that are way worse than them, and two of them got blown out while doing it. However, I think all four of these teams will be all right. They're all young offensive teams. They all have young quarterbacks. Uh, the Lions don't really have a young quarterback, but they have a very young team around him. A lot of young players. Uh, a lot of co all of these coaches are relatively new. I think all these teams are going to be fine. However, the Lions do drop. The Packers go up and the Dolphins drop. Texans at 11, just outside of the top 10. And then the Lions, I have them at 10th. The Packers at 9th. I know they are 6 and 7, but the Packers beat the Lions and the Chiefs back to back weeks. That is worth something, and because they beat the Lions on Thanksgiving, I have them ahead of Detroit, and then the Dolphins, I have them at number 8. They did lose to the Titans. I still think they're a top 8 team in the league. I think all four of these teams are playoff teams. All four of these teams are going to end up, I think the Packers will end up with a winning record. They play the Vikings, and the uh, they don't play the Lions anymore. They play the Vikings, the Bears. They're going to win a couple more games down the stretch, and I think the Packers with will probably get in at 10-7 and seven or 9-8. and eight. All four of these teams could win a playoff game. I don't know if they will, but they're at least it's not going to be the Seahawks and the Saints. They're not going none of these teams are going to get blown out in the playoffs. They're all going to be competitive. They're all going to be in there and have a chance. All right, I need a break of water. Okay. <clears throat> 3 tiers left. Tier 3. 
I actually think they're legit. Number seven, the Denver Broncos. I actually think that the Broncos are legit. I don't know where to put them because they don't really fit with the tier below them of teams with young of young teams with young coaches and young quarterbacks who lost last week because the Broncos are a veteran team with a veteran quarterback, a veteran head coach, and they won last week and they're rolling. And I think the Broncos are legit. Again, I don't know if they win a playoff game, but they're going to they're going to give whoever they play in the playoffs a fit. This this is going to be a team that is going to be in the playoffs. They they might win out. They're 7 and 6. That man, they might lose one. I think this is a really good football team. And the Broncos, they're continuing to prove this day in and day out that they are they are right there with the other contenders in the AFC. So Denver, yeah, you can you can make the playoffs. They might mess around, win a playoff game. Russell Wilson playing really well, Sean Payton coaching really well, and their defense has completely, completely changed. They were the worst defense in the league. Now they're one of the best. Denver, I actually think they're legit. Next up, tier two, give it to me, volatile markets. Number six, number five. I got the Cowboys and the Jaguars. The Jaguars at six, the Cowboys at five. They both move up a tier into tier two. What do I mean by volatile markets? These two teams, I think, are the most volatile teams in the league because one week, you think they're the greatest team on the earth. The next week, you're like, really? The Jaguars? They just lost to the Browns with Joe Flacco? The Cowboys lost to the Cardinals with Josh Dobbs? Like, what? They're up and down, and they they both play. The One of them, one of these teams plays in the biggest market in sports, the Cowboys. The other one plays in the smallest market in sports, which is Jacksonville. And yet, I'm comparing them. Very similar teams. Jaguars at 6. They're 8-5. and five, And the Cowboys... The 10 and 3 Cowboys, I have them at number 5 for the first time all season. Dallas has cracked into my top 5. And finally, Tier 1. Four teams in Tier 1. Looking at Lombardi. Chiefs, Eagles, Ravens, Niners. Oh boy. Chiefs, I have them at 4 because they lost to the Eagles. The Eagles, I have them at 3 because they lost to the Niners. I have the Ravens at 2, the Niners at 1. Here's what's interesting. So the Ra- the Ravens and the 49ers, they play each other in two weeks. I'm going to get ahead of myself here. Lamar, 19-1 and one against the NFC. I think the Ravens will beat the 49ers in two weeks when they play each other. Okay, does that mean... So why do I have the Niners ahead? Because I think right now my Super Bowl would be Niners-Ravens. And I think in the rematch in the Super Bowl... The Niners will win. I think the reason why Lamar does so well against the NFC is because they don't know what to expect. The defense doesn't know what to expect from him. He's that good and that much of a surprise. Well, I think second chance, the Niners will get the better of him and they will win in the Super Bowl. So even when the the Niners lose to the Ravens in two weeks, I'm going to keep the Niners ahead of them because I think the Niners ultimately are still my Super Bowl favorites. Philly, three. I think if it, I think if the Eagles were in the Super Bowl, they'd lose to the Ravens, but they'd beat the Chiefs. And I don't think the Chiefs would beat either of these two teams in the Super Bowl right now. They're barely clinging on to their spot in the top four. And I thought about moving Dallas ahead of them. I'm not going to do that yet, but it could happen. Dallas is 10-3, and three, the Chiefs are 8-5. and five. So there's a real possibility that I might have to move Dallas into uh, the top four and drop the Chiefs. If Dallas beats Buffalo, then they're going to replace Kansas City because the Bill, the Chiefs couldn't beat Buffalo. But right now, maybe I'm just the too much benefit of the doubt. The Chiefs still feel like that fourth team in the top four. I think all four of these teams could win the Super Bowl. Like if the Chiefs... If somehow, let's say, the Lions make it or, you know, the Packers go on a crazy run or the Vikings or, or, you know, somehow the Saints or the Bucks, then, yeah, the Chiefs can beat those teams in the Super Bowl. But I think the Chiefs would lose to the Eagles and the Niners. And I think if it was Chiefs against the Cowboys, I would very, very cautiously pick the Chiefs. And that's why the Chiefs are four and the Cowboys are five. And that's this week's edition of the Power Rankings. No Drew today. It was just me. Drew is very busy with finals. That's okay. Wish him good luck in the comments down below. 
and we will see you guys in the next one quick video today kind of fun um but yeah we'll see you guys in the next one this is coast to coast sports if you like what you see comment down below subscribe to the channel for more content just like this